So I decided to uh, go on a little journey today um, across Ireland and uh, it's a, a, a kind of an experiment in, I don't know what you would call it, camping, carping? Car is that a new phrase of plus coins? Um, but what I'm going to do is I want to visit some of the superchargers out west in my, my car, but I also want to try my car out in camp mode and actually sleep in it tonight. Um, so it's outside preconditioning at the moment, about to leave. Um, I'm going to bring a book with me, by the way. I'm very sure it's moved today in case uh, this is the height of, you know, isolation uh, later on. But um, I'll brief it on it as we go through. I'm going to head for Afton Rye. I'm going to head for Tralee and then down to Kerry. But uh, I think we'll stop at Enfield first. So uh, we'll get on the road. We'll have a chat. So the car is warming itself up, about to leave, pushing back from the stand. And um, yeah, this is the Tesla camping road trip out west. Right, we're pretty much ready to go. Um, so I'm rocking, oh, yeah, we are ready to go, stopped. So I'm rocking my uh, rather, it's kind of a black and tans outfit really. Um, the needles are getting an errand today. It's cool. And off we go. Right, well, first casualty of the day is uh, the sunglasses are after snapping. So um, that's going to be great on a, you know, six hour journey down to uh, where hopefully I'm going to bed down for the night. But uh, with a Jack Duck, well, it's maybe slightly, slightly lower oh, than Jack Duckworth's. But look, they'll sit in the face for now. We might try and locate some more cheapo sunglasses on the way. Anyway, car is preconditioned, ready to go. I've actually charged up to 100, well, it's actually 97% now, but I put it at 100%. Normally, my Tesla is a, they call it a Fremont model, so it's from uh, California. It was before the Chinese uh, ones came in in early 2021, so this is a late 2020 model. And they recommend you only charge the battery day-to-day -day 90%, but if you're going on a long journey, you can charge it up to 100. So I've done that because this is a long journey for sure. This is my first kind of out west road trip, uh, really overnight in the Tesla. And uh, we're going to do a couple of pit stops on the way, so... I could have gone two ways. I could have gone down the East Coast and across through Cork, or I could have gone, which I'm going yeah, now, to the M50, across to Enfield Supercharger, then across to Athenroy Supercharger, down through Clare, down to Tralee Supercharger. And uh, these, this is kind of part of the journey, though, because I want to see what these superchargers are like. I've never been to Athenroy. It's only opened about a month ago now. So if you're watching this, we're doing this on July the 22nd. So, yeah. So anyway, got to check the supercharger network out on the West Coast, um, which is somewhat only open. And, uh, yeah, then we're going we're gonna to try out camp mode later on. I will explain that when we get to Enfield. Is that okay? We're going to be heading for Cahar Sivine, which is down pretty much the very end of the West Coast. So it's down in in Kerry. So anyway, on the road. Right, so you're probably wondering why would I be taking a trip like this today? Well, you know, it's a nice trip. It's actually quite a nice journey, particularly if you're somebody who's planning on visiting New Orleans, you might want to have a look at the West Coast. It's affectionately known as the Wild Atlantic Way, and it covers pretty much all of the Atlantic coast of Ireland on the West. But I live in the East Coast, so I have to transverse Ireland this afternoon to get over to the West, of course. Ever since I got my car, and this is nearly two years ago now, I knew you could sleep out in it like in camp mode, like a, you know, like a camping van or like a camper. Now you could technically do that on any car, I suppose, but with the Tesla, it's optimized for camp mode and all this kind of thing. There was a bed you could buy. I got actually hit with a targeted ad for this just after I got my car. And it was 600 euro for the bed, right? And I said, I hear the heck with this. I'm not spending 600 euro to sleep in the back of my car. But I've done a few little MacGyver modifications. I've picked up a few sneaky little bits over the last year or so for this trip if it ever came about and I'm going to show you when we get to the supercharger in Enfield so that's where we're heading now we're heading to Enfield which is um just really on the way out of Dublin I suppose uh, heading into County Meath which is the next county to Dublin heading across towards the Midlands so that's going to be our first supercharger stop and then we're going to head down the Wild Atlantic Way down into Clare down probably towards Limerick and uh, we're going to go past Bird Hill which is in Tipperary that's when we could have gone to we're going to go to Tralee Supercharger this time and I haven't tried that one yet and then we're heading down to Cahar Sabine to camp out in the Tesla for the night yes <laughs> Thank you. 
I've decided I'm gonna I'm gonna get the Jack Duckworth. I'm gonna get the new ones. I'm just gonna I'm veering off the motorway here. I know Halfords do these particularly stylish uh, sunglasses, uh, the exact same ones actually. So uh, I'm not gonna bin them, but I'm gonna get a new pair, and these are gonna go into the for repair pile. So uh, I'm just nipping into Halfords here off the motorway to get the brand new pair. I can't even be bothered. It breaks me down. For one right, got the new ones. Please be better. Right, old pair, new pair. Oh, well, these, do, do you know what? I've gone through about, I think I've gone through about eight sets of these glasses over the last four years or something. Aren't, you might wonder why I keep buying them. Well, I obviously have been really, which is, you don't need me to tell you, I obviously have a really odd looking head. And the only ones are gonna fit the shape of my face. I don't, I don't know why. So I tend to go with the same ones. Anyway, there you go. Right, new, old. So they're the reserves now. Right, back in business. Right, back on the motorway. Back to, uh, will we stick Enfield in now? Um, yeah, why don't we do that? We're going to go to Enfield Superchargers. So we're going to hit our supercharge button. And it should crawl if we do this one. Get rid of that. And uh, where are we? Supercharge Enfield is here. So 47 kilometers away. So that's where we're going to head to. Now, you will see shortly, yes, there we go, preconditioning battery. So we'll precondition us, we will get there in 46 minutes, good lord. Right, on the road we go. I can't even be bothered. spoke a bit too soon so um caught in this friday traffic now this is um coming towards the red cow on the m50 um that's kind of the turn off for some of the major routes in ireland so you're probably looking going dublin to cork we're not going dublin to cork we're going dublin to technically galway really it's where we're heading to, which i think is the next exit um yeah we've four kilometers to get to our turn off which will be for the sligo and west of ireland exit so um yeah, I, I mean, look, this road is bad at the best of times, to be honest with you, when it comes to sort of rush hour. But the problem is, Friday's rush hour starts a little earlier because everyone wants to get home. Anyway, uh, so yes, um, 10 past two right now, and uh, traffic is balloons. <laughs> and we hopefully get through this bit all right, and then we'll be on the even keel heading towards Enfield Supercharger. Because I want to show you what's in my boot. Enfield Supercharger site and actually for um, for all the horror tales about here sometimes they say it's ice right so what that means is that you know just random petrol diesel cars are parked here instead of electric cars or non-Teslas think that they could charge unfortunately they can't yet maybe they can in the future but anyway Model X here hello Model X friend right let's get plugged in it's, I'll show you around here because there's very little to do around here 
Unless you want to go and have a sauna. I wonder could you do that? Not today, but anyway, that's for another day. Anyway, the sun has come out. So let's plug and play, baby. Good to see you. So, okay. Now, as you can see, I have some stuff in the boot here. Pillows. Why have I got pillows? This will all become clear. I thought it was this before I took everything out. Anyway, and I have a duvet, <clears throat> as you can probably see. And I have more pillows. There's another reason for that. But I have these two things here. So what are these? Well, these are kind of self-inflating camper mats. And the reason I have these with me is I'm going to be camping in the Tesla. Now, I haven't been kicked out of the house by my wife in case you think something like that's happened. Um, it literally is just something I've wanted to do. So now's the time. Um, if I don't do it now, it'll probably be another year before I get my act together to do it. So have the camper mats with me, have my duvet, have a couple of pillows. You might be wondering why I have two extra pillows. I don't really like too many pillows, but I'm going to tell you why. And it'll become apparent when you see. So if you look in here, when you put your seats down, right now, a couple of things here, but when you put your seats down, sleeping here apparently is quite difficult without pillows wedged into there. So let's see, that was a little bit of a, a hack I got off somebody else. So when we actually, I've never actually done this before. I've never really put them down before. So let's see how that goes when we uh, get everything down. Uh, that's not for a while yet. So anyway, right, I'm going to go over to Johnstown and say, see, can I maybe get a quick coffee or something like that? Um, there isn't a huge amount to do here. I've, I've been here before. I'll show you. This is the spa. There's just a spa here. Okay. Now, this is just off, you can probably hear the cars. The cars are just whizzing by in the motorway here. So this is just off the motorway on the way to the west, which is great. There's a few people enjoying themselves out at the spa. I might do the same myself. And then you have the Johnstown um, Estate kind of hotel just here, which is quite nice, actually. Um, but it's not very roadsidey, so, you know, I'm... <laughs> I'm pretty, um, I'm pretty inadequately dressed. Right, first thing I'm on the black and tans, right, so my short and t-shirt, I have my tan shorts, and I have my my Lidl runners. So they might be too pleased at me walking into their plush hotel, dressed like I'm something out of, uh, I don't know, hipster central. Anyway, it's quite nice here though. Lovely Johnstown Estate, right? Well, I've actually thought better of it in the end because uh, literally my car's actually charged already. Um, didn't need a huge amount, and I'm only going to Athenroy after this, so um, yeah, I don't, I don't actually need it's about 10 minutes, it's not even 10 minutes there, so it's nearly up to 80% again. So uh, I'm just gonna head off and head towards Athenroy, and we'll get a proper charge there. And uh, I don't fancy really sitting in my lovely ensemble inside with all these very dignified and well dressed people. So, um, yeah, so back to Blue Zane. And we'll head to Athenry um, with more than enough juice. We'll unlock ourselves. Back in to our supercharger. I do have to do one thing though, which is get the obligatory Hedges picture. So yeah, I pretty much always get a Hedges picture. Right, I'm going to get some refreshments in the garage, get out of here. We're going to arrive with, um, let's see, 22%, which is perfect. That's what you should arrive for uh, a decent supercharge with, really. The lower, the better, in a way. Um, around that is perfect. Um, it should wallop in. So I'll be actually quite curious to see what speeds we get. I have a 250 kilowatt uh, supercharger with 22% uh, battery, so uh, that's cool. Right, so let's get uh, on the road. I'm going to get some refreshments. And uh, next stop, Athenry in Galway. Yes. Right, let's get out of here.
So yes, uh, you can actually have a Guinness Zero here at Raheem Woods <laughs> while you're charging. Which will probably be the first of many actually over the next 24 hours because I brought some Guinness Zero with me. So um, yeah, car shouldn't take too long. It's probably going to be about 20 minutes realistically. Uh, I'm going to head down to towards the burn then. So down kind of clear direction. And then head down towards Tralee and then on to Catter Sivine. So um, yeah, so this is the first time I'm at the Roy Supercharging. Um, so what it looks like, as you can probably see there, there's about four stalls, one of them was iced. Um, there was another Model 3 pulling in just as I was coming in, by the way. And then over the other side, there seems to be potential stalls, uh, but they're not open yet. So they're coming soon, I guess. Um, but the charging, that's the main thing. It looks fairly fast, so let's see. It's more like it. You know, when we went to um, we went to Enfield and John Sound Estate, you know, sitting, I can sit like this and have a point, you know. Could we do that in Enfield, could I? So, Guinness Zero is saving the day on this Friday afternoon. Um, what time are you at now, actually? Wow, so just quarter to five. Um, so we're doing all right. I'm hoping to be cat serving by about, I suppose, worst case scenario, about half eight in the evening. And then we'll uh, try our camp mode. So we're going to finish three point. We'll get back to the car. Get back on the road. Well, we didn't come all this way not to get the Tessie picture. So, uh... <laughs> Not bad. Uh, what, 25 minutes. Still really sure that golf has to be ready, charged and ready. Cyclists having a cycle up the hill, we're coming down. My goodness me. Right, I'm dropping into my uncle for a minute and uh, gonna have a quick cup of tea. Well, on some. And um, I shall be on the road then to Tralee, I guess, to supercharge for another little bit. I don't the way Two hours later. So, uh, I've just left my uncle's house, is really up that way. Uh, about 10 minutes and uh, I'm passing a place in Ireland here called the Burren B-U-R-E-N the Burren in County Clare and this is the maddest looking place the only place I've ever seen that's even close to looking like this is Iceland nice and Iceland and I'm going to flip the camera around so you can see what's going on but it's all just rocky mad looking stuff because um, I'm on the way now to the ferry I'll show you that in a second um, and the weather's changed a bit look it's going to lash around but it looks things so uh, let me show you what I can see so this is the burn in County Clare. Um, you can see it's just so sort of weird rocky outcrops and lilac covered mountains all around the cheap. Where are they going? Not entirely sure. But uh, yes, so this is what I'm driving through at the minute um, on the way to the ferry. So I have to get a ferry. <laughs> the ferry's gonna save us a boatload of time, no pun intended, book a load of time. Uh, on our trip because uh, it's going to cut out loads of road that is going to cost us about an hour if we don't take it so going to get the ferry um i'll tell you where that's from i can't remember the name of it but the car is going to take me there 
and then we're going to head to the tree the tarbert ferry there you go lovely uh whip that around for you so we should be getting a tarbert ferry just in time for the nine o'clock sailing uh i think it takes about 20 minutes to get across so it's down here somewhere and uh yeah so we're going to be ferrying it as well planes well not planes well take the autopilot so planes no trains but we did cross the railway track and automobiles for sure and boats not all time okay on the way to the ferry Right, uh, I'm actually just looking up the ferry here. I got a call from my uncle there to say that he thinks the last ferry was actually at seven o'clock, which now would leave us well late for it. Um, the rain coming down quite heavy here now, but just looking at the times here, and uh, it looks like, where are we, July? Let's see, 9 p.m., so I think we're okay. So I'm gonna buy a ticket for the ferry now, and uh, I should be fine. We should just make it, actually, yes. So let's see how that goes. <laughs> 10 minutes to spare in the lashing rain. Last ferry out of here. Eventually. So made it in time to the ferry. I, I'm no sign of it. Um, but it's supposed to be leaving in 10 minutes, I guess. And uh, hopefully we're gonna be on it. So last one, cross to the other side. She'll bring us over closer to Tralee, I guess. And um, yeah, so this is where it leaves from, I think. Some ferry information for you there. And uh, yeah, it's gonna wait in the ferry now, isn't it? Really? So there you go. Ferry time. And the rain has stopped, which is good news. Good. Right, let's have a little look around here. Radio Kerry, Ben Mine Alan Finn on that, Mandy College Room. Yeah, cool. Um, yeah, so uh, we have a little while to wait. I'm sure it's going to come in, in shortly because it's good looking going. I don't even see it on the horizon, and I'm here 10 minutes before it's about to leave. What's the story? So, yes, it's obviously left uh, Kalimer, um at nine, which means it'll be here in about 10 minutes, I guess, and uh, we can probably start boarding it then, and then it will leave. So, yes, okay, good news. It's got a little chillier as well um, now that the sun is starting to go down. Well, the sun never really came up, I suppose, once we got our west, but um, yeah, suddenly popped it, the hoodie on because um, it is a little bit cooler now. So, ooh, so uh, yeah, that's the idea. Anyway, um, right, let's wait for the ferry now. About to depart here from um, Tabert Key, say Key, uh, over to uh, is it Kalimer, whatever it's called. It's been a long old day, hasn't it? Really, it's starting to get dark now and cold a little bit. So let me see what does this take. What does it have? Oh, it has Ribena. Oh, and a Coca Cola. So back on dry land, we're doing a light on here for you. Back on dry land, um, and the penny has dropped. It dropped on the ferry. And maybe some of you who are familiar with that ferry route or uh, who live around this area of K 
Kerry and or Clare, County Clare, realised what was happening. I've never been here before, right? I've never taken that ferry before. And I just put into my sat-nav the name of the ferry, which was Tabert Ferry, which I drove to. So what I've done is I've driven to where I should have arrived to. It's going to confuse them, right? I've driven to where I should have arrived to and I've gone back to where I should have started from. So I basically drove to the destination that I would have arrived at, you know, as the plan to drive to Tralee Supercharger. And I got on, I obviously drove too far, drove the long way round, got on where I should have got, I drove on where I should have got off and was too late by the time I realized in the ferry and I've now had to drive off the ferry back in County Clare where I should have got on the ferry to go to Kerry. So I'm back in County Clare. So we've a bit of a problem. I'm supposed to go to Supercharger and wallop in a few volts and head down to my destination, Carter Savine. However, I'm now heading towards uh, Circle K in Ennis, which is gonna be half an hour away. I'm gonna to have to get an ESB charger there. And something to eat, I've had nothing to eat all day. So uh, I'm gonna to have to get something to eat there. And this has put about an hour onto my journey and wasted my money and my time with that ferry. So I'm gonna be tired by the time I get to my final destination, whatever time that's gonna be. Um, but anyway. Right, on to Ennis in County Clare. Try and get a 50 kilowatt charger there. Hopefully it's available. I'm gonna get here with 11% battery. Should be fine. But uh, whether I'm gonna to have to wait to charge now is another question. I could be right. Made it to Ennis and uh, using the ESP charger for now. Uh, so I need to find something to eat. Um, it's gonna take a little while, so. Whoops, got myself for the first time in about eight years, a Chinese. It's only thing I could find that was open. So um, I'm here at the Royal Court Chinese in Ennis, um, which I had no intention of being next or near. Uh, I don't mean the Chinese, I mean Ennis. So I'm gonna have me, uh, what is it? It's uh, I got, I got uh, chicken fried rice and a chicken ball so I'm gonna find somewhere discreet to have that and then head back to the car and then head down to Trudy. Right, what a mess. Could be wrong. I could be right. Could be wrong. I could be right. Anyway. The car is charging that Circle K. I'm standing in the middle of the street, eating a takeaway at uh, 10 past 11 at night. This has been a bit of an adventure, hasn't it? Yeah. Whoa, well, finally made it to Trinity. Oh, you don't even want to know what time it is. I'll tell you anyway, it is nearly, I'll, t I'll put it in perspective for you, it is nearly 12 hours since I left uh, my house in Wicklow. It is uh, 20 minutes away from one o'clock in the morning. And I'm here at what looks like the world's smallest supercharging site. There's only two supercharging stalls in it. Let's get and have a look and let's charge the car uh, and then get to where we need to go. Um, all right. <laughs> Yes, here we are in Tralee, County Kerry, the arse of the country, the nicest possible way, of course. Now we're going to go for some of these. These are slightly older, actually. Maybe not quite as modern as the ones we saw earlier. Either. Could 
I'd have to show you how um, I was nearly involved in a pretty nasty smash and you know what you can see how these accidents can happen pretty easy um, when you look at this so it's not even the context here so this is Lash and Rain Rogan about just come through a video so we're probably going from 60 back up to 100 kilometers an hour this truck that's ahead here he's ahead of the car but he's got his hazards on for the last I think we've been behind him for about 10 minutes and he's got his hazards on throughout all the way so we're assuming he's carrying some kind of load or whatever so his hazards have been on the whole time he's driving you can see them flicking there so there's a car behind him and um, i don't know these roads at all and i'm really tired i've been driving at this stage probably for about on and off for about 11 hours <clears throat> across ireland and this is now just outside abbey field in kerry anyway um you're gonna see what happens here so I just reviewed the footage before I decided to show it in case it was terrible. But um, the footage doesn't do this justice. But I can tell you straight away that, and of course no uh, no um, discredit to God's hand in this either, but the Tesla saved me from not only having very bad damage to my car, but probably being very badly hurt if I had hit this guy. So anyway, here's, uh, here's what happens. This guy in front of me, who probably knows these roads better than I do, overtakes this guy and I assume that is a clear road ahead because he's overtaken him so I say right well if he's gone I may as well do the same now watch what happens this guy's turning now I jammed on my brakes in that wet okay as he turned and the Tesla I don't know if you can see it there if, if it was outside cameras you'd probably see it better Really, I should have I should have skidded right into him. If I, I, you know, if that had been my last car, which is a great car by the way, I would have skidded right into him. The Tesla is the, the maddest thing. It almost stopped on a two penny piece. It, it's almost like the the wheels, each side sort of broke separately do, 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 and just just shuddered me to a really quick halt. You can see how quick we're going about a hundred kilometers an hour, and I'm accelerating to overtake, and I jammed here, wham, and I managed to pretty much stop the car right on the money. Now, how I did not go in slamming into the side of him is un... Oh. But I was shaking for about two minutes afterwards. But you can see there how easily an accident could happen just by, you know, a little bit of fatigue or a lot of fatigue in my case. And a guy with hazards on for 10 minutes. The next thing he decides, well, I'm also indicating, who's going to pick up on that? And uh, yeah, it was close, I can tell you. But this car, unbelievable, actually saved me from having... A really bad smash there and uh good man blue zane wow well done you fair play to you just about unbelievable um it was like the it was like this wheel this back wheel locked not locked but broke broke and then the two other broke it almost shut me to a shimmy you know anyway there you go so i thought i'd share that with you one pair of pants later Well, welcome to Carter Slovene. What time is it? Almost 2.30 in the morning. <laughs> and uh, yeah, this road is not great. But anyway, um, we're here. Let's see if we can set up. And I don't know what we have to do, where we have to go, what we have to sign, pick up. I don't know. Anyway, let's see. Maddox Point, finally made it. So um, our 
pictures over the other side, so I'm gonna go to the bathroom and have a chat with you and brush my teeth. We made it anyway. Here we'll do. Right, so brush, just brush the teeth. Um, this is kind of cool. So this is just the, I suppose, shower and Jack's area. Good material for sure. Um, yeah, so trying to find my pitch. I'm trying to get the head down. I get the uh, bed made down. All right, so this is Manic's point. Right, so we made it. This is it. Um, I'm here. So this is my um, my little uh, patch, I guess. So what I've done, I don't know if I made this anyway clear um, when we started out doing this little video, but. Because I wanted somewhere bar the side of the road or like a, just a public car park to actually make my bed down in in my car, um, I booked like a spot in a in a, a sort of a camper van site. It's twenty quid, but I've arrived obviously very late, so I'm going to have to pay in the morning. So I'll show you what I can see from here. So that's basically what's around me. So that's the campers and stuff. So I've been given a little space here. I'm going to try and kit out the Tesla now for bedtime and <laughs> I'll show you that. Again, I might be able to make much noise. I'm sure people are asleep in these, these caravans inside me, so I'm going to be going to broadcast. And so I might just video it and, you know, overdub it and or when I, when I shut the the car doors, I'll be able to chat about it. Um, but yeah, got to make everything down now in the back. So it's currently back seats. It will soon be a bedroom. Right, so I've made down my camping stuff um, in the back. I don't know how well I've done it because I've done it in the lash and rain and the pitch dark. Well, with the help of an iPhone torch. Uh, let's go to camp mode, which should be in here, I think. Uh, so, yes, we want camp mode. Right, well, welcome to uh, camp mode in the Tesla. Um, just to see what's going on here. So these are my camp mats that I brought with me. Um, so you can actually get a Tesla bed, which I'll put a picture of up, but, um, yeah, so I have my pint ready. It's a well-earned pint, believe you me, it's badly poured, but anyway. So my well-earned Guinness Zero after, I think it was a good to 12 hours driving today, um, on and off, uh, which is fine. It didn't really matter. The whole point was to, uh, have a bit of fun driving around today. There was no schedule, just wanted to drive and drive and drive and, uh, See, we haven't quite gone into camp mode yet. It should show up like a a, a um, tent on the screen. This is the one downside, which I will surely be. I have. I'm I'm prepared, but I will surely be. You know, expecting uh, early in the morning is daylight to kick in, and is lovely panoramic windows everywhere. So I'll be like sleeping in a greenhouse, not heat wise, but just light wise. Okay. So let's see how that goes. I am prepared for that. Right, camp mode is kicked in. We are in camp mode. And uh, I only have a little light on so you can see what's going on. So I have a zero. I have my book, I'm not gonna bother reading it. I'm gonna try and get the head down for three hours. Let's see how that goes. Um, I do have my trusty mask with me somewhere there. I haven't dropped it, there we go. So that will be going on. And uh, keeping me from the daylight I hope so anything develops I will let you know but uh, in the meantime we are in camp mode we are camping out for the night in the Tesla in Kerry so cosy good night tomorrow morning <sighs> Oh, that's my view. Oh, well, <clears throat> it's what right after half nine, nearly. I think now. So I've had about six hours sleep. I think on and off. Woke up a few times. All right. Um, only for a minute, I think it just kind of freaked out, but I was sleeping in a car. But all in all, the rain woke me up twice on the roof. 
um, that was kind of pleasant. But um, yeah, otherwise, yeah, wow. Right now, what? Um, well, to, well, I've got to get dressed, I guess, um, and uh, I've got to get up and uh, I've got to get something to eat. Um, so here's the thing. I've had my car in camp mode all night, right? And uh, for, what, six hours now? And um, I'm going to see uh, how much battery it's taking. I'm going to knock it out of camp mode. Um, I'll switch around and see what you see. It's not a great looking day, to be honest with you. Oh, dear. Um, and the beauty of Kerry, I, I, like this this place I booked is supposed to have an amazing view. It's like the view when you awake, you know. Here's the view when I awake. Clouds and camper vans. Anyway, right. Oh, dear. I got it through everything everywhere last night. Including my spare tyre, I'll get to that in a second. I hope we can damage it on that. Right, so out cut mode. Um, which would be here, wouldn't it? Oh, I've used. Wow. 30% battery, and there's me an iron going off. Okay. 30% battery. Ooh. So, yeah. Six hours in camp mode. Oh dear. <laughs> we been got wet. Now <laughs> it's okay now. But uh, I had a notable advantage or disadvantage of having to take. I have a spare wheel, so I'm going to have to pop that back in, right? So I have a spare wheel in the car normally, but I had to put it in the front seat, um, and it fell last night. So I'm hoping to break a lot of stuff. Okay, he got away with it for the most part. Put that back in a sec. So, to show you these, my self inflating mats from uh, who got them in Aldi last year, and uh, they just roll up nice and tight, as you can see. There you go, back in the boot. Top spare wheel. Pillows in. Right. Back to normal. One of the advantages of staying in an actual campsite as opposed to a car park at the side of the road is getting a bit of a warm shower, getting spruced up, getting cleaned up, change of clothes. Two euro for a shower? Yeah, not bad. Let's see what we can do around Kerry. Well, it was prime time at the shower, so uh, half nine, what can you expect? Everyone go for their shower. It was two euros to use the shower, which is pretty good, I think. So, um, I'm feeling fresher, but clean anyway. I'm going to show you my view that um, you can't really see now because of the clouds, sadly. So, this would have been my view. Well, kind of. It would have been a nicer view. Summer in Ireland. So, right, all packed up, ready to rock, pretty much. Uh, gonna get myself to uh, catch something for breakfast and I have to plug this in now and charge it because uh, it used 30% of battery uh, in cam mode, which is fine. Kept me nice and temperate and cool. But uh, I need to charge it up now. I'm glad I got that supercharge last night because uh, that was my that was my reckoning. I said, if I, at least if I wallop the vault into this and it's 90, 90%, I was only using about 10, 50% to get here and I thought, right, you know, it'll be fine. At least that way, even if I have to park by the side of the road and sleep, and I can't plug in. Now, this is the reason I couldn't plug in, by the way. I was kind of mentioning this. So here's the plugs. So they're these kind of camping plugs, which are pretty the normal, sure, but you can get a Tesla adapter for them, but I don't have it. So that was the plugs. Right, so on the way into Cars IV, I'm going to plug in for a little bit. This is what you missed in the dark last night. No point in filming this. But this is where I stayed. So this is Mortimer, uh, not Mortimer, the Mannix Point, run by Mortimer, who's retiring in... Six weeks, he said, so congratulations to him. So you can see it's kind of a campsite. And the reason I obviously parked here is just, it was safer, <laughs> frankly, you know, than parking on the side of the road. At least everyone's in a campsite together. So yeah, weather is appalling, as you can see. And um, I'm gonna go in and get some breakfast in Carter's I've been and plug in for a little while. Right, nicely plugged in, so off to find some breakfast. I better bring a rain jacket because it's not great, is it? Um, 
And uh, yeah, I was actually here before, but I, I didn't really see much. Just got in late and I left early. So um, yeah, let's see what Carp Savine has to offer in the line of breakfast. I'll be going for pancakes later though. Let's see. Let me get on in Carp Savine. Now we're talking. Oh, yeah. I've got the porridge, actually. What porridge it is. That'll do me nicely. Right, well, the uh, <coughs> the porridge was, was really bad. Um, sorry, Barry Cafe. It was like, um, it was like they put lilac in it or something. I don't know what the hell was in that. I mean, it's waking up my taste buds, that's for sure. Um, so I wanted to show you something real quick because uh, this is uh, this is actually, I just happened to stumble across as we came out of the, the, uh, the coffee shop here. It's Car Savine, by the way, we're in. This gin, I don't drink anymore, but this gin is phenomenal if you're buying a gin and you're here in Ireland. I don't know if you can get this anywhere else in the world, but if you ever see this gin, buy it. It is phenomenal. It tastes like drinking. It's going to sound horrible, but trust me, it works. It tastes like drinking Christmas trees, right? But it is phenomenal gin, right? One of the best gins I've ever had when I was drinking. Right. Skellig 18 is called. One debt to society later. So, yes, uh, made it to... Leedsk Viaduct here in just past I suppose uh, Kells and you can see it there I should probably give you a better view of it um, so, so it's very that's kind of precariously dangling sign over my prize, pride and joy Tesla uh, fall off the brake anyway I'm, I'm assuming you can get up this way to it uh, that would make sense to me let's try let's have a look from the other angle though and I'm going to put a jacket on because it's starting to lash rain now the Gleensk Viaduct Train will come right across here. Here's the old train, best track bed here. We'll come right across this. Wow. So, train would have come from here, straight across this amazing looking valley where we've parked down below. And uh, let's go across it and have a look. So, as far as I know, I'm getting very wet here, but that's fine. This is well worth it, believe you me. Um, I know, I actually had no plans to do this at all today. But uh, I was so close, so I was like, you know, when will I ever be down here in the next while? Look at that. There you go, Glinsk Viaduct. Still well intact, look at that. Wow, now you're talking. And there it is, Glinsk Viaduct. Look at that bad boy. I'm gonna get you photographs of this. Walk across it. Don't care if I'm drowned to the skin. This is fabulous. Absolutely fabulous. I'm just raging again. The weather is against us view wise because look at that. Look what would have we would have had amazing mountain backdrops. We'll do it again in the summer, please God. Wow. Fabulous. Just fabulous. So yeah, so this is coming down towards Valencia now. Um as in heading direction towards Valencia, so towards Kells. This is the way the train would have come over this. And uh again just struck by the I don't know the melancholy of this really, you know. The fact that the train would have moved over here 60 odd years ago. Even diesel locomotives were still part of diesel. I don't really picture the diesel locomotive coming over this. And uh, just to think that I used to come across this, people on the way down to either Valencia Harbour or Carcevine where we were earlier, or coming from Far and Four. Just unbelievable, you know, the whole thing. This is what? This is July in Ireland. We go to Kerry for our holidays. Maybe Americans we go to Kerry for our holidays. It'll be amazing. The sun. Okay, this is well. Maybe that's what you come to Kerry for. Anyway, uh, just truly brilliant. I don't give a shot about the weather, man. It's just truly amazing to see this. Anyway, that's how I am. <laughs> Fabulous. Oh, wow. That was spectacular. You can actually still see it. Can you see it in the roof? There it is. Oh, no wipers on the roof. We're right under it. Um, wow, I got absolutely drowned. I've actually had to change. I have a hold of myself, forgive me. But at least they're dry, so I had to get changed real quick and hang the jacket up. I'm going to have to stick the heaters on the Tesla. Oh, that was well worth that. Wow. Behind me, look. Still see it there. What a day to do it. This is November. This is July. <laughs> right, I'm going for some pancakes and hopefully dry out. Um, my shoes are soaked through. 
on that one. Anyway, wow, I'm just so glad I got to do that because that's been on my list forever, ever since I started getting keen on abandoned railways. The um, Valencia line has always been high on my list, along with the new Ross line and, and Harker Street and all that. But I've passed this once. I've obviously never stopped. It was the first time I stopped, and I couldn't resist. I mean, there was no way we were getting on the um, the Carcassonne Viaduct at all. Forget about it. You would have died easily on that. But that you could walk right across that. There you go. I didn't care. I didn't care if it was hail and snow. I was going across that. Fabulous. There he is. Oh, look at that. Right under. Right underneath it. And it's still coming down. And cats and dogs. Right. I escaped the worst of a t-shirt wise. The jacket is dripping wet. Um, the shoes are soaked. The trousers are soaked, but they'll dry out hopefully. I'll stick the heating on now. Otherwise it'll be drying to me nip. Right, I'm going for some pancakes and uh, head for cork down, I think. You know, what's truly insane is autopilot is actually working on these roads, right? I didn't think it would at all. It just show, just, the symbol wouldn't normally show up unless the roads were doable for autopilot. And it's actually driving itself on these roads in uh, the back of, well, not quite Killarney, but the back of somewhere here in Kerry, which is hilarious. <laughs> wow, I'm not doing anything. The car is actually driving itself down this mental, boring. These are roads that if you meet anyone, forget it, you know, and it's giving me autopilot option. I can't believe that. Anyway, that's hilarious. So yeah, I'm drying out a little bit. The heating is on fully here, so I'm sweltering, but uh, jacket and all is drying out. And uh, we're heading towards where 43 minutes still, so it should be bone dry by the time I arrive at the uh, Strawberry Field Pancake Place. Uh, I'm going to come out of all the pilot because this is actually freaking me out now. The Tesla is driving itself down a grass line boring on autopilot, right? Time to take over. Beautiful. No idea where we are. We're near Barabi, Bar, Barabiama, Barabima, whatever gap. Waterfall there, no So this is like, you know what? I remember driving, I don't know if I did drive this before, but this is the roads I've just been driving. And uh, not a cinema, thank God. I'm an Italian guy a minute ago driving up, but this is bananas driving, man. Through here, this is phenomenal. Wow. Just phenomenal. Wow. Finally here. Finally back here. It's quite a nice spot this the last time I was here, so. Right, finally made it to the strawberry field here in uh, Kerry. And uh, these pancakes are immense, so I'll get in there with the rain. Get coffee, I think. Hit the spot uh, from the strawberry fields in Kerry. Second time here, it's great. I recommend you come here, really do. Uh, pancakes are incredible, as you just seen. So, uh, right on to, where now? On to Matt Points in Cork, in Phoebe Charge. And um, rain has not stopped, really, at all. And I got, you know that horrible damp smell you get? You know when you walk into somewhere that has damp, usually student accommodation or something? I have that damp vibe now. Anyway. Right, Mountain Point next stop, and then we'll uh, probably head for home then, I guess. Right, Blue Zane, take me to Mountain Point. A little longer than a few minutes later. Right, it's terrible when you get so wet in an Irish summer, you have to stop off and dry your clothes in one of these portable drying machines. So I've just actually used this, so um, runners and everything going into it. I'm gonna just drive for about 10 minutes and see. Because I was trying to drive him in the car, but I was actually starting to sweat in the car then. So uh, I'll have to gone proper old school. So uh, probably these dry in about five, 10 minutes and uh, I'll be back to normal then. Right, so <laughs> give it five minutes. Anyway, this is the joys of holiday in Ireland, you know. So that's a hack for you. You get absolutely drenched. Find one of these mobile laundry places, three euro. Three euro just to dry your clothes for 15 minutes. So I'm going to get a quick coffee and then uh, 
get changed back into dry clothes. I'll probably get wet again in about 10 minutes. Anyway, we're in Ken Mare at the moment, by the way. Ken Mare, everybody Ken Mare poor. Almost dry. Dry enough for her. Here goes Alison Moya said, all dry now. Success. I was down now. Right, back in the road, back in the road. I'm a quick dry. Leg now, well, nearly the last leg. So, Cork Man Point Supercharger V3 Superchargers. Got to get some volts uh, for about half an hour, get some, maybe some food, and um, get back in the road. Then, I guess. Or Lana, as we are, the rug. and the likes of uh, Nando's stuff. So, just gonna have a quick look around while the cars just boost up a little bit. That's the whole point of the superchargers generally. That's why I never got with the whole you know hotel things where the superchargers are. Which that's cool if you're staying there, but what must to do? At least you're gonna look around or do whatever. This is obviously my point shopping center, by the way. That's where uh, Cork Supercharger is. So, have a look around. I think on my way. Got a toilet break. Yeah, my dry clothes. I decided to treat myself in the end. Um, you can eat the bowl, and eat the cup and everything. I only really wanted the spoon for me protein pudding, didn't I, you know? So that's us done, on our way. Um, yeah, let's head to, let's head to home. We really, probably get a sub bottle of collar for something to eat. I let it plug in for a few minutes and then uh, head home. <sighs> I get stuck into this in the way. Happened that hasn't happened in most of the day, all of the day. The sun has come out. What's that thing? What's that in the sky? The sun has come out. It's finally stopped raining. I had to put my clothes in the dryer for the love of God. It's finally stopped raining. Uh, where are we now? We're just past Formoy now, so on autopilot, of course. So, uh, yeah, this is great. So, the car is autopiloting piloting now for the next 98 kilometers. So, it's like, you know, it's like going transatlantic, you know, you just. Put it in autopilot, keep an eye on her, or him in this case. And uh, yeah, so anyway, just thought I'd let you know the sun is out, just to, to cheer you up a little bit. So, final small charge of the evening before we head bet actually a real bet well wow, imagine that and the weather is vastly improved well yeah look it's great there but it's nice there <laughs> so, you know my, my, my redrive clothes are, are doing pretty good so yeah gotta give myself a little burger and um get on the road it's a good thing about driving in the, in the summertime uh, bar that horrendous rain this morning of course is you have the light so you know it's what eight o'clock at night now i think is it it's well it's quarter past eight at night now so um you know if this is the winter time we'd be depths of darkness so I'm just going to get some grub back to the car. It's only going to take about 10 minutes and then head across home. Probably going to take me across the hills as well, which is quite nice. 
So yes, fifth supercharger of the trip, fifth different one I mean. This is great though. So if you ever come here, this is Abbey Leaks, it's a place called Balakala. So it has a supercharger there and there's also standard, there's a really one fast 150 kilowatt charger and a normal 50 kilowatt charger there for other electric vehicles. And uh, if you ever come here, there's the Manor Stone, which is that building there. It's probably, the, and I'm not into garden centres, but it is probably the best garden centre I've ever seen. It is unbelievable, right? It's worth just going in and having a look there if you're down this way. And there's, you know, Burger King or whatever, Supermax, wherever down there. But anyway, it has a supercharger site, Balakala. So that pretty much uh, wraps it up. I'm literally on the way home. It's going to be uh, an hour and 40 minutes now to get home. It's going to take me across the mountains. It's going to be beautiful, but it's going to be very hard because no autopilot around. You wouldn't be mental. I know we did a bit of mad autopilot in Kerry, which is still bamboozling me. But uh, I will be home in my bed by half past 10 tonight, which will be a round trip of what? Let's split the difference. Let's say 36 hours on the road between camping out in the car and doing all that kind of thing. So hopefully you enjoyed the journey. We did five superchargers. We camped out in the Tesla. Saw a little bit of Kerry. Um, saw a few places actually, didn't we? So um, yeah, it was kind of cool. And uh, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll, when I'm actually landed at home, I'll say goodnight to you all. Anyway, from Abbey Leaks, Nicky Jr's mind the crisps. Hedgies are in the back. We're on the way home. And home we go, home we go. Wow. Back where I started, back home. Um, thanks for watching, I suppose. And uh, yeah, that was five superchargers, one ferry the wrong way, one very nasty near miss that Tesla saved me on. Um, getting soaked, two old railway bridges, camping in the car, Johnny's takeaway. <laughs> loads going on, and loads of counties. Loads of counties, cross county. So we did Munster, Lancer, and uh, even to McConnick, I think. So there you go, home to bed with me. Good night. Thanks for watching.